Hi there, it's John with InspectFlix, and in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, inspect and look for improperly installed drywall on ceilings uh, that have been damaged. I'm at a house now that was built in 1979, and in those timelines, codes were uh, really not up to speed. And uh, so in the 70s and the 80s, at least here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, some contractors uh, didn't apply the right size drywall and the thickness of it. There wasn't any code compliance for it, but uh, in some of these homes I get into, they would install uh, some of the thickness was as low as 3 8 of an inch, which is a really thin uh, size type drywall, which can be affected by moisture and humidity. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use a flashlight when inspecting it. And when I'm inspecting homes, I don't like to rely on the lights and the light fixtures in the house because a flashlight can reveal a lot more by uh, relying on it. So let's go ahead and go through the rooms and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, right here in the living room, uh, you're going to look at the ceiling and it's got a nice flat look to it because there's very little to no light in here. But um, here's my flashlight and as you point it horizontally on the flat surface, it'll start to reveal the imperfections to it. So you got rippling to it, sagging, and damaged drywall. You cannot repair this because it's now uh, sagging into its position and it's hardened. Um, so let's go through some of the other rooms and I'll show you as we go through. In the dining room here, you can see once again, nice flat surface, new fresh paint. Uh, but now you can see by using the flashlight, the imperfections uh, on the drywall. So let's go down the hallway and I'll show you some, some more areas. So here you're starting to see the nails that have popped, the seams that are rippled, and let's go into some of the bedroom areas. So first bedroom here, you'll notice the daylight coming out of the windows, nice flat surface once again, but as I use the flashlight horizontally on the ceiling, now you're going to start to see the imperfections to it. So if you're looking at a home to purchase that was built in the 70s or the 80s, or if you own a home, uh, in this timeline. It's as simple as just grabbing a flashlight to look to see the, um, the type of material that they used. 